Today I'll be speaking about the art of spiritual dreaming, how dreams can help you find more love and happiness by Harold Klemp, and he's considered by tens of thousands of people to be a leading, the leading authority of dreams, and Supposedly, ten times as many people consider him a, an authority, but one of the things there is that he's a leading authority on dreams about himself. And one of the things one will find, like in the eight types of dreams... The eighth type is about him. And some of the other types of the eight types of dreams. And you'll also find this in the Ek Dream 1 and 2 discourses of the secret discourses. I'm not sure if there's any profound understanding or something that you'll get from those versus these. Um, but the eight types of dreams are daydreams, dreams of initiation, dreams of intrusion, dreams of release from fear, Golden Tongue Wisdom, Dreams of Understanding, and as I said, Dreams with uh, the Mahanta, the Way Shower, which is really a way of talking about himself. And did I get these right? Um, the Waking Dream is supposedly where Harold Klemp here tells you through your daily life something. So members of Ekankar are constantly looking for the golden tongue wisdom as sort of a waking dream. Also, people will interpret their regular life as if it was a dream, some sort of symbolic message. And... Some people would have a dream of marriage. In Ekankar, one's supposed to believe that the dream of marriage is really about some level of inner initiation only and not really about an actual marriage, although I'm sure plenty of you will know that you can have such a dream about an actual event as an actual event. But if it's prophetic, we don't know until it happens, really, whether that's what it was supposed to be. Um, Mark Twain had a dream that he saw fulfilled, but it possibly could have been like anything else that he would have experienced by predicting based on what he knew. And some of the predictions, it's like, well, that was around the right figure, so see how accurate the dream was? It's like going to the Northwest and saying, hey, Today, it's going to rain. Not look outside. It will probably rain. Well, at least parts of the Northwest, anyways. Um, and there are techniques by your bed, having a dream journal, 
doing a spiritual exercise while going to sleep. Chanting out your intention, either spelling it out or whatever. Dreams of intrusion are sort of like the, I uh, give myself, permi uh, you know, giving some entity permission to uh, invade you. Although allegedly it happens without permission here. Um, the various things people worship, such as the Eckmasters. They may, you know, whatever comes in through that worship, it's supposedly only through uh, well, uh, through the permission of actually doing the worship or actually calling on the beings called Eckmasters to actually, well, I give you my permission, and um, but I'm not giving anybody any creature permission to come into me. Um... But it talks about self-realization and soul travel and dream travel. And soul travel is supposed to be when you're aware of it, sort of a lucid dream. Dream travel is just when it happens. That's some of the impression given here. Um, they program into you whether it's the leader of their group or... Otherwise, certain names and certain appearances that the so-called masters take on. Some people look at their at any major figure and just presume, oh, it, it must be an inner spiritual guide. And if they have a dream that is weird, that includes people they know, they think, oh, I'm being psychically attacked, but they don't know it. So you look at it and say... Hmm, yes, I gotta get rid of things that they give and they've gave me. And I gotta start cutting off contact because I'm having a strange dream I don't understand. And some people think they're you know, something bad happens in a dream that they're either explaining the bad things in their life. By, oh, well, it's it's karma that I'm paying off from a past life. Or they will say that it's their future or some other thing like that. People will look at their interest in this life to try to figure out where their so-called past lives are. Dream symbolism journals can change over time. They talk about the physical planes and the astral planes and the causal planes and the mental plane. And the etheric plane is supposed to have some sort of dream sensor for the things you can't handle. And... If you have all these nightmares and they trouble people their whole lives and I don't know, sounds like something you can't handle or because of your choices you can't handle it. So something in your dream life obscuring the truth kind of sounds like a demon. Um, I could show you what I look like and you could uh, program yourself to think... Oh, this, this guy right here. This guy right here. Yes, he's going to visit me in my dream. He's going to visit me in my dream. And I'll tell you my secret Ekankar name too, XYB. Don't pray to me. Please don't pray to me. Um, XYB is my spiritual name. And some Harold Klemp had a spiritual name. Wazi. Wazi. Dapren, before that, was Darn Gross, and Petterzask, and sort of a projection of the founder of Christianity and the founder of Judaism, Rebazar Tars, 
but it's an ancient spiritual teaching that was only made public in 1965. Why it would have to stay secret, I have no idea. People figure out stuff from their daily life in dreams. And one can possibly live one's life so you can always remember your dreams. But I guess I'll say more about this when I share my comments on the Discourse series. 